Hey guys, it's Todd from Ad Hoc. If you're spending money on Google Shopping and you're not using this Google Shopping hack, you are wasting your money. This is something we learned on the AdWords team at Google and at Ad Hoc, we've seen customers 10x their results just using this one simple hack. So let me show you how it works. So currently when you have a Google Shopping campaign, you can't control your bid. So if someone's typing in women's shirts or women's medium red shirts, which is more closely related to the product you actually sell, you can't increase your bids on women's medium red shirts and decrease your bid on women's shirts. There's actually no way to do that. Uh, but with this hack, you can actually increase your bids on longer searches that are more likely to convert and decrease your bids on more broad searches. Let me show you how we can actually do this. So what you want to do is set up three shopping campaigns. You'd want to have a high priority campaign first. And in order to set the priorities in Google Shopping, you just go to the settings and there should be a setting for priority level. So you want to have a high priority shopping campaign. In this campaign, you want to make two negative keyword lists. You want to make a negative keyword list of all of the colors of all of your shirts and all of the sizes of all of your shirts. Then you want to have a medium priority campaign. In the medium priority campaign, you would want to just have the colors of your shirts eliminated. Then in a low priority campaign, you would want to have no key negative keyword list applied to that. Now the reason for this is when someone types in women's medium red shirts, Google will try to match it with the high priority campaign, but it won't because it's being blocked by these two negative keywords. It will then get blocked by the medium priority campaign because of the colors, but it will be able to go to the low priority campaign. So you'll be able to funnel this very long tail search down to the low priority. Now as a counter example, if someone types in women's shirts, it's going to go to the high priority first, and look, it's not being blocked by color or size. Now, if someone types in women's red shirts, it'll go to the high priority campaign, it'll get blocked. You go to here, it'll get blocked as well. If you go to here, it'll go all the way down. Now, as a final example, if someone just types in women's medium shirts, that'll get blocked in high priority, but it'll actually match the medium priority because you're not using a color. So it'll actually fit perfectly into the medium priority. Now that you're able to funnel this type of traffic, what you can do is you'd want to increase your bids. So you want to increase your bids on low priority and you want to decrease them on high priority. So what you want to do is increase your bid here and decrease your bid here. What you'll find is that the low priority campaigns will have very long search terms that should be higher converting. The high priority will have sh shorter search terms, which might not be as high converting, but if your bid is low enough, you may actually see really good conversion rates. This is the ultimate Google Shopping hack. Now, obviously you may not sell women's shirts or even women's medium red shirts, but you can use your own variables here to set this up. Any questions, feel free to reach out.